like a you, 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 watch her back it up. She do that, da, 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 Hey y'all, if y'all want to see how I revived this so in, just keep on watching. Let's just hop into the video. I basically just parted my hair into four sections and I made a pre pool I just used two conditioners and one oil and I added some African shea butter, melted it down, and I just put that on my hair and I focused it on my edges as well. I did not film myself actually washing my hair because I just treated my weave like it was my natural hair. But I did part into four sections. I used a cool setting and I just bulged out my hair, which took some time. You want to make sure that you dry your braids underneath. That's really what took me a long time. Like that's the reason why blow drying my hair took like an hour because I was focusing on my braids underneath my hair. Y'all, y'all want to make sure that your braids are dry underneath your weave. So it's been like a month since I've had this weaving, not even a month, it's been three weeks and my hair grows uncontrollably fast. So I pulled my closure back and I'm just slicking back all the new grow hair that I've received with Eco Styling Gel. Argan Oil, the Red Cap, the Eco Styling Gel, that's my favorite. That is my favorite, you guys. I had my scarf on for about, I want to say, 15 to 20 minutes, and I took it off, and as you can see, it did its justice. Now I'm going in with the got to be glue, and I'm focusing it on, like, the center of my hair. I'm being careful not to get it on my edges because I know that it can take out your hair, but I'm just doing it around my edges. Um, and after that, I'm going to blow dry it a little bit till it gets tacky. And then I'm going to mold my closure onto the got to be glue, you guys. Okay, this is nothing new. I'm pretty sure y'all seen this a thousand times on YouTube. I'm just showing y'all how I get my sewing back to how it needs to be. Okay. <laughs> I took my scarf off and it was like, bam, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's not, it don't look how it was looking no more, y'all. <laughs> so by this time, I'm upset because it rained so hard. And once it hit my hair, because I strained my hair, as y'all can see, and it just curled up just like this. So I was like, I'm just going to one curl it. Curling this hair was really easy. I just made sure I laid the hair flat on the one barrel so I can accomplish a big bouncy curl. I did not do small sections because it's still raining where I'm at and I don't want, I didn't want to do small sections just so my hair can be messed up by the rain. So I did big sections so it can kind of look like a mixed messy waterfall curl. And I turned out I really, really liked it. So you can do any type of um, size sections you want. Just make sure your hair is flat on the burrow like this.
Y'all, I love this wand curl. You can see it's going to literally erase my frizz, honestly. So I just take my wand curler and I just run it across my foundation and my clothes just to get as flat as possible and less frizzy. But after that, I just combed out my curls and that was it, you guys. I really hope y'all enjoyed this video. This was the last result and I'm loving this hair, you guys. Y'all please like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification button because I post often. Add me on all social media. I love y'all. I'll see y'all next time.